All right, so this is my third time making this video. First time, um, I don't remember what happened. I probably didn't hit record. Second time, somebody tried to call on Facebook Messenger and pause the video, so I'm praying <laughs> that it works this time. If it doesn't, uh, I'm done. So um, I just wanna explain the theory and differences um, on the inter-rotor kits and the uh, like light and flywheel and um, MBT Millennium. So first off, MBT is a killer brand. Um, they're the main one in the game for making ignition kits that have uh, lighted coils, so you can run your light, charge your batteries, whatnot. So um, the only one for the the only one that we sell or that is created, I should say, that does lights and works for AF16 and AF18 on Honda Elite and Dio is the NCY um, that we sell. Pardon, my hands are dirty because because uh, they just are. So. Bear with me. If you're offended, I can't help you. Um, okay, so this is considered an inner rotor kit because the rotor is inside, okay? This is your rotor, it's inside. This is where your lighting is and your pickup. So that's an inner rotor kit. This is this is an outer rotor kit where everything, your internals are in here, your stator's on, the, or your flywheel's on the outside, just like the Honda Elite, Honda Dio, okay? These are basically shrunk down versions of stock. So lighter, um, quicker quicker revving, better uh, throttle response, less rotating mass on the crank. That's Honda one, I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I've got videos on it. So this is MBT, so these are for Zuma. Honda, these are for Zuma. Um, Yamaha Prebug, and these are for Prebug as well. We make them for, or we sell them for Piaggio, Typhoons, Zips, and whatnot too. But um, so I guess I should go over the basic theory um, on the ignition system or timing system. Timing, I should say. It's a nasty old crusty spree motor that came from God knows where. Um, we had these everywhere. I literally had this underneath my desk for I don't know what reason. But so. Your motor spins around this direction on this bike, okay? Top dead center, TDC you've heard, is when your crank is the very highest position right there. So the relation to this tab here, to this pickup, that's gonna determine whether you're advanced or whether you're retarded. Um, I don't mean whether you're retarded, but the ignition's retarded. So if this spins around this way, just for simplicity, let's say this finger is the pickup and this finger is a timing tab, as this rolls around, if you take this pickup, if you or if you move these two things closer together, right? Without, if you move these things closer together, you're gonna advance your timing. If you move them further apart, you're gonna retard it because as it goes around, remember, this flywheel is locked into a specific position on this crank, just like these flywheel keys here. Those are gonna lock into a specific position, okay? So OEM, you don't have to do any timing. It's already done for you. There's a groove in the crank and there's a key in the flywheel and that's gonna lock it in this specific timing because I don't know, I don't know what spree is advanced stock, but it's a certain amount. So this is already done for you on this bike. For instance, if you wanted to advance timing on a spree, you'd take this plate here on this pickup, you'd notch it and you'd slide it this direction, bringing this and the timing clap tab closer together, therefore advancing, meaning as this piston's going up, it's gonna spark sooner. So let's get this nasty old thing out of the way. So if you have OEM, that's how OEM works. It's just plug and play. So, wrap your brain around this. Actually, I'm not even gonna open this one. This is one type of uh, MVT, and this is another. So, uh, one has a CDI, one doesn't, and, and they have a couple of other little different characteristics. So, so I'm just gonna talk about this being an inner rotor kit. So, this bolts to your engine. Okay, this bolts to your engine. You take all your old stuff off. This goes on your crank. There's no timing slot in these. There's not a position to put your timing key in and click it on and make it work and go. So what you need to do is you bolt this on, put it on. This is where your adjustment is. Well, you have two points of adjustment. You can adjust this on the crank and you can adjust this as well. So let's say you get this on the crank. And then, like I said, I'm not gonna go into specifics on where your timing should be because every system's different. If you, if you bought one from us, you guys have questions, give us a call. We're more than happy to help you out. So. This is, um, your adjustment's gonna be made here. It's gonna be made here. So what you're gonna wanna do is find, you, first you need to find top dead center. You need to have a uh, spark plug gauge and you need to have a, I like using a um, degree wheel as well. And that's gonna tell you, you gotta find your top dead center and then you have to set your reference points on this guy. So this bolts right to the motor and you loosen these and you've got adjustments here. 
and you have adjustment on your crank. Once you get your crank locked in, you're not gonna be making adjustments on your crank. You find out close where it needs to be, get the crank, get this guy in place, lock it down on the crank, and then this is where your adjustment's gonna be. If you don't um, have knowledge of how this works and you don't have the tools to put this on, I wouldn't suggest it because if you're too far advanced, you're gonna destroy your piston and ruin your engine. So when you hear kind of motors that are making a clacking sound, uh, it's just like a car. If you're too far advanced on your ignition, if you guys have had Hondas and V8s and whatnot, too far advanced, it'll run great until it doesn't, until it burns up because you're gonna you're gonna kill that piston. It's just kind of the same theory as when a car on crappy gas knocks. Um, that's uh, pre-detonation. So, so this guy here, this is a this is a plug and play unit. So this isn't gonna give you quite the gains as an inter rotor kit, but this for somebody who doesn't want to deal with timing and doesn't want to deal with the risk of maybe you don't really know for sure don't really fully understand this um and it's a little bit hard to wrap your brain around when it comes to stuff this is a great option for you this is a millennium it's under 180 bucks high quality stuff comes with a cdi which is a pretty good deal because you think it's a performance cdi alone costs 80 bucks so that's a really good setup this is for yamaha prebug this is for 89 to 01 prebug uh yamaha zuma vertical and this is also for uh prolia sr50s with the minarelli so this is the same theory as a distributor on a car is kind of how I explain it to people um, on, on a, it makes me feel old saying on a small block Chevy, um, but basically adjusting this plate left to right is the same theory as taking a distributor and turning it left to right, advancing um, or retarding it. So hope this kind of sheds some light um, on how these things work. The Honda Elite ones, um, Honda Elite, Honda Dio, these are the only ones on the market that have a, um, that are plug and play with lights that work on AF16 and AF18. You have two different timing slots. And the reason for that is on one motor, the timing, um, uh, the pickup is down here and another one is over here. So that's why I've got the two different spots to move this um, tab from counterclockwise to clockwise. So now I've got videos on this guy, but just kind of more or less want to explain um, how this stuff works. And again, um, one ignition may call for a certain amount of advance. It's gonna to be totally different than another. Um, Polini has digital direct, which I run on the big Evo that you program on a, a software on a computer and you can adjust your maps and change your timing curves. These are more simple. Um, they, they are huge as far as, um, you don't really gain a ton of horsepower and torque, but you gain, they, they wrap up faster, they rev out faster. Um, they just kind of have more of a, of a dirt bike throttle response feel to them. So big difference. Um, good products as well. Um, so hopefully it kind of helps, helps you guys understand a little bit. I don't want to go too far in depth because I'm afraid somebody's going to call me on Facebook messenger and, and erase this whole video. So, um, if you guys have questions, let us know. Uh, and if you bought from us in the past, you need some guidance, let us know as well. And, uh, be sure to, to, uh, like our videos, share, subscribe, and we'll just keep them coming. Thanks.